And we are back with the slide you play to. Or really I should say I'm back with the slide you play to because in this part we're gonna be collecting the power ups that we can get in the safe by collecting all the bottles in each episode. Starting off I'm gonna buy the last Bentley power up which um which is allows them to freeze time. Like so. I think a glitch happens here if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. Yeah, I wasn't affected for the t for the bomb for some reason, and then that happened. Yeah, that's the glitch. <laughs> oh god, I recorded this so long ago. In fact, I'm actually doing this a lot um, later than um, than we finished the commentary for the slide two playthrough. Actually, this is the only part I haven't done. It. I'm actually the recording this that at the same time I'm uploading the parts uh, on YouTube. Uh, but right here we're going to uh, the first episode. We have to go to uh, to Bentley's office, Dimitri's office, where we can find the safe. If you remember there, so opening this safe, we'll get a power up for Sly. And we get the knockout dive. Basically, what this does is the dive move from Sly One, but it knocks out enemies really easy. It's also less expensive than the smoke bomb, so you can use that as the same strategy as using this stealth attack. So that's a actually a pretty useful power up because it uses a lot less than the smoke bomb. So if you get caught, like I'm showing here, you can do that. So here we go into the second episode, where, if I remember correctly, this is be the safe is behind the palace, or the entrance to the safe is behind the palace. That was the place where uh, there was that mission with Murray and Sly beating shit up while Bentley was hacking the system and such. And uh, it's right inside of uh, that laser thing, Magic. I really am bad with names. Wall laser, let's go with that. No, floor laser. No, something. Anyways, in this safe, we're gonna unlock a power up. Also for Sly. Most of the power-ups here are mostly for Sly. This one is, I believe, the Confusion Strike. or oh, Insanity Strike. Yeah, that's it. Well, um, Insanity Strike, using it uh, will allow your cane to actually do um, an Insanity Strike, which uh, will confuse the uh, enemy and will attack other guards instead of you. Normally, unless there's no enemies around, then it will normally attack you. It's not that great, to be completely honest. But, you know. He yeah, most likely will go after the closest guard though, but if they're not close enough, they will attack you just like it's shown. The asshole. Sometimes it doesn't work like I intend to. There, there, there. Um, yeah. That's pretty much for that move. And now we go to episode 3. And I do remember what this one does actually. Just don't remember. I think it's the voltage strike. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Uh, which is in uh, Rajan's office. It's kind of like a deal. Most of the safes are like in the office of the enemy. Some of them are hidden somewhere. But I do show what they all have. Also, um, I think in the video I pulled it on my channel, it has the link for it, so I'll probably put it as well on the on the channel here, on the channel here, on the video here, um, with the, the link for the bottle FAQ. It's recommended that you haven't collected any bottles for that FAQ, however, because otherwise it'll be a bit confusing. So I'll have that because I can't really be bothered to actually do that. To show. Okay, it's the voltage attack, which allows your cane to be shocking. Let's put it that way, and doing an elemental attack, which pretty much kills anything. So next one is episode 4. 
Uh, this one is actually pretty hidden because this is actually a place that you don't find to a mission. You just go there and you have to find it. Now this one actually doesn't just affect Sly, but it also affects Benthlay. And in fact, it doesn't actually appear in the power-ups in Sly, but it does appear in Benthlay's power-ups. And we'll see what that power-up is in a minute. And I actually still uh, show off the distance so I control alarm clock. Just to show off what this power up does. Stop that thing with the numbers, Sly. And we, with that, we got Blanc Toss, which affects both Sly and Buntoy, despite the fact it doesn't show the, in the. Um, in the two menus for Sly for some reason. Anyways, episode... I lost track. <laughs> That's not the name of the episode though. Uh, it's episode 5, yeah. This one is in... Uh, I think it was the one that we had to pickpocket the, the enemies and then go to uh, to certain places. And then beat up with us. And we see the, the safe is right uh, in the other room actually. No, it's in this room. What am I thinking? I don't even know. Uh, if I remember the one, uh, this one is pretty much like the Insanity Strike. I said it's a bomb form. Uh, I actually should have cut cut this out. Actually, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't cut that out. I guess to show more the Voltage Strike. I actually like using Voltage Strike quite a bit. And there's the Volt. Oh, by the way, um, just for the fact, if you're thinking, if you know in the cold, you can actually get the vault, you can't do that. You actually have to collect all the bottles in order to do, to actually even enter the cold. It is kind of silly, but you know, that's how it works. Anyways, I'm here using the, those insanity bombs. Uh, they blow up over time. They have a lot of reach, though. And pretty much just confuses the enemies, but uh, yeah, it is a bit better than you sending to strike, I guess. But I never actually use it that much, so I wouldn't know. Um, so next one is episode I uh, lost track <laughs> six. <laughs> um, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think this one is in the. It's actually not in John Bizon's office because John Bizon is always in his office regardless of what you have done so far. But this is one of the cabins which you enter to get the the trains blueprints, I believe, or schedules. And it's right here. There's a bunch of ducks, Canadian ducks. I really should have cut all the battle out because then again the part would be a lot smaller that's probably why I didn't cut it but you know I'm just talking to myself right now because there was really nothing else a Hennes or Hell could add on not that they had much except for Hell I guess but that's beyond the point actually no they would probably just be mumbling this is stuff we're getting uh no if I remember correctly the one you, the power up you get here is the music box and I'm pretty sure that's true. Uh, basically, you throw a music box and make the enemy sleepy. I forgot what's the music that it plays here. And since I'm using Pinnacle to do commentary for this, I can't even hear the game sounds for some reason. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Uh, but anyways, putting close by enemies will fall asleep. And then you can kill them. And now we're in episode 7. Which means I was right at that episode with six. Uh, this one is inside of the laser thing, which we did. 
Now, um, as I said in the previous part, uh, sometimes when you open this vault after you already beat this episode, sometimes that thing might reset uh, the the episode f from the mission of the laser one. So now, that happens sometimes. It only actually happened to me uh, once. And that actually was the first time I was trying to do a 100%, so he kind of screwed me over that way. Because I had to do the episode again. But, yeah. Um, thankfully this actually didn't happen when I was recording this, it actually didn't reset the mission. Uh, but anyways, the power-up we get here is actually uh, a, sp a spinning attack, but uh, with a voltage strike. It's like a voltage strike with a spinning attack, which is kind of pointless, and so I was walking into that TNT for some reason. Uh, lightning spin, uh, which basically is the spinning attack with lightning add on. I don't think that adds much, because the reach for that is not very good, and plus you can probably do the spinning attack while you still have the voltage... Um, attack so I really don't see the point for that anyways for the last episode we're gonna get our last power up which actually just like the dive move in the first episode uh, actually the dive move at least has a uh, added fact in this one not so much this is a power up that was also in slide one and this one was actually in story because the dive move you got it uh, outside of the story outside of the story if you get the bottles in the the first bottles you get in the first episode, but in um, this one is a sh uh, the shadow power up, which allows you to be invis invisible, and you will use the uh, the power meter. But um, the thing is, that power up was one of the mandatory power ups you get in the game. So in this game, you're getting from this safe again, and it's pretty much the same thing. Except you can uh, um, you walk stealthy. You do your stealth walk normally, unlike in Sly 1, but you cannot run or attack or steal from the enemies. But yeah, I don't get why this power up, but uh, yeah, that's all the power ups, and I'm gonna show right now that you uh, this allows you to go invisible. And I'm already having a thing in the back, you will see that in the, why I have that thing in the back in the bit, and by a bit, I mean next part. Which I already recorded months ago. But anyways, I guess this is all for this part. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.